he has an indestructible heating element. Why would he want to stop now? There's 1100 watts into that baby there. 1611. And what's the limit on the Type P? I gotta look it up again. 1800 is what you said? My memory is failing me spe for the specifics. It's actually very glowy now. Should be. It's the hottest we've ever had. Or no, it's close to as hot as we had last night. Thousand degrees on a surface point. It's by far the hottest core we've ever had. Yeah. Sixteen hundred and eighteen. And we're running fifteen amps at seventy five volts. All right. <laughs> he wants his soup. <laughs> well, there's 1.2 kilowatts. It's not enough. Okay, I'm putting my visor down now. Up to 1800 is what the thermal couples yeah. are going to do. Okay, so we got some headroom. And uh, it looks like the center of that dog bone is starting to sag a little bit. Really? You seeing that? It's just my glasses. <laughs> but it, it does look that way to me. Really? We'll find out. No, we've had we've had them up hotter. Yeah. Uh, overall. All right, 1704, Ryan. And it's, it's getting very noisy. Your thermocouple is definitely at risk at this point. Um, is the tight beam? Oh, here it goes. Oh! Burned out on the outside. Yep. Burned out on the outside. In the right. air. Yeah. Well, my thermocouple is not at risk anymore. No. Oh, no. Oh! It's the thermocouple that's bad. <laughs> it's not your heater coil. It's uh, the thermocouple. That's residual heat coming out. There's no current right now. Well... No. The, both of the B thermocouples have stopped. Did something say? Did it touch one? Burn it off? Um, it probably melted the core, the alumina, the alumina tube in the core, and the thermocouple hit the heater wire. Could be. Yeah. This, the outside. No, let me turn this down. I didn't see any smoke come out of the hug net board. I think we might have melted the glass that was insulating the thermocouple on this side. Okay. I don't know why it would be on the uh, external. Well, I guess we'll see what kind of damage we did <clears throat> after it cools off. So let's see what that highest, the highest temperature ever recorded. It's already fallen off the scale here. Well, we've just got the K-type thermocouple running. All right. Well, I did see 1,700 on one sample point, and that, that was logged. 1,718, it says here. Yeah, we logged all that, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, one, yeah, the external B-type came back. Oh, yeah. But I think the internal one died. Okay. Or it shorted out to itself. We'll see when we, uh, when everything cools down and we dissect it. Mm -hmm. If we can. Worst case, we got one more. Yeah. I'm wondering if the core tube is going to come out of there. Oh, yeah. If stuff melted. Well, let's see. It's it's not going to melt the alumina. No. So it's the, fine. The fat core we don't need. The, the only purpose of the fat core was this experiment. So. Okay. 
We can cut it open if we have to. So um, just before we sign out, we'll show you a couple of things we've been working on. Um, or rather, 